here we have something uh, interesting that something you don't uh, see every day this is Aerocool Strike X LCD touchscreen uh, fan controller and let's see it closely and if you don't know what it does this is how it looks like, I'm going to just uh, unbox this thing uh, what this can do is uh, obviously control the fans I really like the Strike X style, it's a really nice picture I have the Strike X um, mouse mat, it's actually under a keyboard and stuff, it has a uh, similar image on it, it's uh, pretty cool well it uh, opens from here just uh, pull this up and uh, let's see what's inside uh, a lot of cables uh, box is empty and let's see what we have in here uh, that's the manual uh, Strike X has a really nice style, it doesn't uh, like uh, clock up all the manuals and stuff it's uh, like front panel is, uh, I mean the front cover is very empty just few words and the back is just uh, Strike X and same with the box uh, these are changeable uh, front panels that's just uh, empty and that's the device itself it's pretty heavy it's, it's really heavy I'd be, uh, to be honest and here it is, here's the device no seriously it is heavy it's a good two kilos I'd say and that's how it looks like looks pretty cool uh, I think I'm gonna swap it for uh, black not sure yet my computer team is black and red red LEDs I think this is too much red in here but we'll see and here we have all the fan uh, connectors so obviously uh, I'm gonna have to connect one of the Molex cables in here and all the other cables go in here and it's not just a fan controller if you're wondering what these are these are temperature uh, temperature readers the temp meters I'll just undo these from here and see how it works it's a bit hard holding it with one hand well it's not very long to be honest but it's enough and uh, these you can like put uh, on your CPU you can put this on your graphics card or whatever the temperature you want to uh, measure and it will measure it and also this is the fan, con fan power cables uh, here we have it that's quite long but yeah it's very easy to set up to be honest I don't know where the USBs are uh, taken from uh, I believe these are the USB ones but <laughs> I don't have the USB cables so we'll have to connect them from motherboard somehow I don't know exactly but yeah it's pretty impressive and it goes where your uh, DVDs are DVD slots it takes up two spaces as you can see from the side and let's see what else there is these are the cables for the USBs and the sound uh, this is up I don't know what that means it says up in here I don't know what the hell that is but these are the audio cables definitely AC uh, 97 and HD audio uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using these because I already have the audio on front panel uh, this is for USB this is definitely what I need so it gives actually extra slots if you have enough uh, enough connectors on the motherboard I should definitely have them I have Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z it has tons of USBs in there I don't know if this actually works with USB 3 I mean it should work because there's absolutely no difference in a cable I think uh, I should be able to use USB 3 but uh, I don't know I will test it it says it's USB 2 but I don't think there's any difference actually between them in the cables or in the in the slots themselves, it's just from the motherboard and here are some accessories, I don't know what the hell that is uh, let's find out uh, these are some what the heck are these? these are some stickers, I have no idea where you can put these maybe do. I don't know and 
this. These are extra temperature meters, I think. No, it seems like it. I don't know what the hell is this about then. Has extra temperature meters in here. And these are extension cables, definitely. I can see it from here. Uh, fan extension cables, two of them. And uh, mount screws. And that's it, that's all there is. But I want to see the device itself and uh, replace the panel with the uh, black one, just to see how it looks like. It's actually sticky. Put the back. Nope, it was just plastic. I don't know, what do you think? Red or black? I think I'm gonna go with black because my computer case is black. It's just LEDs are uh, LEDs are red, but it looks amazing. Uh, how does it? Yeah, it looks like it just clips out from the um, from the bottom, uh, like so. There we go, and that's how it clips off. And let's see with the black panel. Yeah, I think black is definitely cooler than the red one. It looks uh, a lot cooler. I mean, look at that. That's the red one, black one. Uh, I don't know. It depends. But I think once I'm going to mount it, then I can't really take it out. So it's going to be like uh, flush with the computer from the side. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to mount it on my computer and I'll show you the final results. And here we have it. It is installed. Uh, it took me a little bit time and I actually tried this USB out, which I'm going to point out right away. My camera is connected in there. But yeah, it took me about an hour to install this, so it's uh, not really work in the park to be honest. But it looks amazing. It's quite awesome. And let me just explain how to um, how to adjust the temperatures and how it works. So the first thing what we're going to see in here, sorry about shaking the camera, I'll just try to uh, keep it somewhere. Uh, that's better, I think. Uh, right, the lock, it goes on in here, which goes on after uh, 30 seconds. And see these white uh, things under these blues? If I press press it, just keep your eye on it. Uh, there we go, and the lock is gone. And I haven't connected all the fans up, I just connected three fans at the moment. Oh, sorry about the camera, but yeah, three fans. And all the temperature meters, obviously you can't disconnect them. How it's connected is uh, number five in the middle, sorry, number one in the middle is uh, GPU. That's on top of my graphics card, that's meter. Then number five, which is here, that's uh, between my RAM sticks. Then number, uh, this one, number two in here, that's between the motherboard, which is kind of hard to be honest. Number four in this corner is uh, between my uh, pack radiator, uh, radiator for the H100 uh, CPU cooler. And temperature three is ambient temperature, which is just uh, inside the PC. It's just uh, doing absolutely nothing, it just sits uh, above the front fans, not in front of them, so it doesn't get any air in there. So that's just the uh, neutral temperature. And let me explain how to uh, how to set these things and how it works. <coughs> so, to change the uh, RPM, just click on it. Uh, it locked again. I have to unlock it, click on this. It starts blinking and then you just press the plus. and here goes the temperature I mean sorry the RPM I can actually hear it and same way you just click minus and go down with it and that should do it and you click again to memorize it yeah it went a little bit up but see it uh, takes a little bit time to actually come down from there to set the temperature so uh, I didn't realize it at first, so uh, I'm telling you this, so if you have the same problem, then you know it actually takes about uh, 
5 seconds to go from maximum to minimum and uh, you can change the Fahrenheit and Celsius in here uh, even if it's locked you can still change that because uh, it doesn't make any changes this is the now temperature and if you want to see the alarm you just click again and alarm temperature is basically the, uh, it starts beeping and not just beeping but uh, well you have to connect uh, connect the temperature meters to actually near the fans so they will actually have effect for example I should connect number 2 and number 4 to my back radiator that's how I should do it and if I set the alarm temperature uh, and if the fan goes over the alarm temperature the temperature I mean goes over the alarm temperature then the fan speed increases to maximum until it's uh, able to achieve the minimum temperature again which goes below so if I click it in here which alarm is 70 which means if the now temperature goes over 70 degrees then the fan automatically fan number 2 automatically goes to maximum so that's how it works and in order to change the alarm you have to first unlock it and then just hold down the temperature for 3 seconds and uh, whoops just hold it uh, in the alarm just hold one two three and it beeps and starts blinking and then you can change the alarm temperature in here as you can see I'll leave it on 70 and then you just click again and that's it it's set as I said fan number three and one are not connected you don't really need this at least I don't well I do have fans on the front but they have uh, adjuster buttons in here so I don't really need to put it on this because it's a lot easier to turn them from here but I will show you which fans I put on the on the controller uh, one of them is this top fan in here uh, there are two slots but I have only one fan it looks so red because I have LEDs in there and this is hard drive in here which uh, cools the hard drive right underneath so you can see only one fan and this fan is very annoying if it's a maximum so I'm gonna keep this always on minimum uh, I think that is, yeah that's fan number 5 which is only 600 RPM I don't know if it's uh, so Bambi webcam, <laughs> it's not focusing, okay here we go actually that's uh, that's not a Bambi webcam, that's a professional webcam I keep forgetting to doing review on it so I will get to it next time it's a Logitech C910, it's awesome but anyway uh, that fan is number five then these fans in here which you can see these are not on the on the strike X these are on the back panel uh, because these are very hard they have built-in uh, speed controllers into the anti case and it's very difficult to rip them apart I would have to uh, do some manual connecting uh, instead the radiator is between the fans in here I mean between one fan in here then it's radiator and then another fan so I have four fans on the radiator in the push-pull style and the back fans are on the controller these fans uh, are number two and number four which are 1200 RPM at the moment and that's it, I have yeah, three fans at the moment but I might, I don't know this side fan in here, I don't really need to put it that runs on like 800 RPM and uh, I don't really think I need to put this on a controller but I don't know I just wanted to really get it uh, up and running so it's right there these back fans were very annoying and the top one was very annoying but uh, now they're controlled with strike X and here you have it I hope this uh, this explained how to use this and what it does and I have to say it's a very nice gadget it's really awesome and you get two uh, USB ports if you have the connections on the motherboard I didn't connect this microphone ones up because I have two of them in there but yeah it's awesome I can even close these things I don't know how well you can see through that oh shit <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was doing I tried to put it on a USB just wasn't looking but yeah I could close these but I don't know I might take these covers off because I don't know with covers, without covers, I don't know but either way it looks absolutely awesome so here you have it Aerocool Strike X LCD Fan Controller